It's um, May the 12th, uh, 2022, at uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Thursday afternoon. And the, yeah, like I was uh, mentioning, you know, as I just brought out the scripture, the book of Luke 21 and verse 25, you know, and I'm bringing out two news articles. Like the scriptures have said, you know, he's going to see signs, signs in the moon, you know, in the stars and complexity of nations, which was in the book of Luke 21 and 25, you know, and this is a, a news article from nationalworld.com, <coughs> and the, uh, the, in the news article, it reads, uh, blood red sky in China, what causes Zhao uh, Shang a city sky to, to turn red, meaning an, ap an apocalyptic fears explain. The skies in the Chinese uh, city of Zhao Jing turned blood red, uh, sparking fears across social media. It says the sky in the Chinese city of Zhao Jing has turned blood red. It's a lot. Right claim, so I just pause that. Continuing on with the reading, it says the skies in the city, I mean, in the Chinese city of Zhaozhen has turned red. And once some, what some residents have been doubling the uh, apocalypse. Over the past few days, people have been taken to the social media to share the uh, ear phenomenon with the videos of the night sky getting over 150 million views. So yeah, that was back in 2018, I mean 2008. They said citizens of Zhaoxing um, started to report the sky turning red on May the 8th, which this is recently, about four days ago. They share photos and images of a accordance on Chinese social media platform Ribble, which one resident joked that it seems that the apocalypse has begun. What causes the blood red? What causes the blood red sky in China? So this is an area of a video right yeah. here.
yeah, I'm going to read the news article. This is from usatoday.com. It says, um, this is published on uh, 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time on May the 9th. And it was updated at 11.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on May the 10th, 2022. And a highlight of this news article from USA Today reads, a super flower blood moon linear eclipse is coming Sunday night. And here's what you need to know. It says, get ready for a sky skeptical this weekend. A super flower blood moon linear eclipse will be coming to the night sky on Sunday. A linear eclipse occurs when the earth is between the full moon and the sun. During the eclipse, the moon will receive only sunlight bent through the earth's atmosphere and will change colors over the minutes from gray to pink to orange to red. The earth's shadows covers the moon which has a red color hint. The blood moon nickname, although it's completely in the shadow of earth, a bit of reddish sunlight still reaches the moon. The eclipse will begin when the earth's shadows appears on uh, on the moon at 10.27 p.m. Sunday evening. Over the course of an hour, shadow will creep across the moon, plunging the linear surface into darkness. The total totality, or when the moon is attired and the earth shadows will occur from 11.29 p.m. May 15th to 12.53 a.m. to May 16th. We do not need special glasses or gizmos to view the spec spectacle, unlike a solar eclipse. So feel free to stare directly at the moon. Binoculars or telescopes will improve the view. The eclipse will be visible to a total phases in a portion of the Americas, Antarctica, Europe, and Africa, and the Eastern Pacific according to space.com this will be the first linear this will be the first of two linear clips in, in 2022 space.com said that the next one will occur on November the 8th it says what is a supermoon a supermoon means the moon looks a bit bigger than usual since it's a bit closer to the earth because uh, the orbit of the moon is not a perfect circle, the moon is sometimes co closer to the Earth than that other times during its orbit. Yeah, and that's the spirit too. I believe I was uh, at my old house, but I'm living at a new location now. But I, I remember it was like, I said about, about a year ago, close to a year or two ago, and you know, uh, I was out with my brothers, you know, we was outside. I believe it was like a warm night in the summertime. And, you know, we looked outside. I believe it was my brother and my sister and me, you know. We looked outside and we looked at, uh, looked up in the sky. And we was, we was amazed and shocked. The moon was so big, it was like, wow. And it turned to a color red or orange or something like that. You know, that shows you prime examples of, you know, you're going to see these uh, increase of these uh, these uh, red moons, these blood moons in the signs, in the signs in the skies, you know, in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, you know, and perplexities of these uh, nations as well, too, as in the book of Luke 21 and 25, you know. And I'm going to bring that out again. And I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun, right? Signs in the sun and in the moon, right? With the blood moons, you know, and the stars, right? Seeing different types of stars in the skies, you know. And upon the earth, the stress of nations, right? With the stress of nations, with the uproars and the people in the world today, with these uh, protests, you know, 
in perplexity the sea and waves of war right so yeah you're going to see the increase because these are the signs of the times that we are living in you know you're going to see the increase of these uh signs in the sun these uh, uh blood moon you know and these uh stars in the skies as well too upon the earth you're going to see these uh things actually furthermore increase because you know these are the uh, the signs that you know your how about shim al was was written in the word of scripture said it was going to come in these last days you know you're going to see some certain signs that you never even witnessed or imagined ever before you know just like uh like every couple of once a while every year as you start to see these uh blood moons the sky turns red the sky turns orange you know these uh dust storms and stuff like that you know you're gonna see stuff that you never seen or witnessed before you know you're gonna see a first-hand experience of these any stuff that's you know that's what you see these stuff in the, in, in the sky because these are the uh, signs of the times that we're living in because no it was it was written in the holy scriptures that we was going to see these signs in these times in the latter days you know because these are the times that we are living in because we are living in some uh, biblical uh prophecy times you know we're living in biblical times you know because you're going to see more of these things take place in the earth you know you're going to see many different things in the sky when you look up in the sky you know even though we so used to seeing like uh stars and you know stuff like that but you know you start to see like four blood moons uh being a different color the moon being so big you'd be like damn you'd be like damn you never witnessed that before you know so you're gonna see many different things in the signs in the skies that you never witnessed and see before so you know when i looked at that when I was my first experience looking at that, I was like, man, I never seen a, a big a big moon like that before to show a dis display like that when you're looking, looking up in the skies, you know, especially like late at late in the night, like nighttime, you see that, you know, you'd be amazed and shocked to see something like that. A moon being that so big, you know, you know, we were uh, so used to seeing the moon being like a regular size, but a moon, especially a uh, moon that showed different colors and stuff like that in the skies, you'd be like, you'd be amazed and shocked. You know, it, it's it's amazing. You know, of of the of the power of your how about Shimmy Al Shai. You know, I mean, because he he said in these holy scriptures that it was gonna be the signs in the skies that we was gonna see in the latter days, and we we are seeing. Them. And I believe uh, Space.com, they said a, uh, it was going to be another one uh, on May the 8th, coming this November, I believe. Another uh, blood moon or red moon or something like that. Or, you know, the linear eclipse, I believe. So, yeah, you know, there's going to be signs in the suns and in the moon, you know, and in the stars as well, too, you know. So with that, I hope that quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of Yahweh Shai. hopefully I wrote hopefully I did the lesson somewhat okay you know but I tried my best to do it you know because I'm still learning I'm in this truth you know but other than that you know I hope this was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh and first and foremost I like to give all praises and and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Gradash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shallow one to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shallow one to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shallow one and the ball, ball, ball.